Good morning, everyone. My name is Melanie, and welcome back to Slice of Heaven Homestead. Our little seedlings have been hardened off, and they have been sitting outside for a few days now, just ready to go. So it's time to get those planted. Now this year I joined the coronavirus gardening challenge. What that was is to simply grow as much food as you possibly can um, in order to be able to share with those who may not have the ability to grow their own food and um, may not be able to get certain things in the grocery stores. So um, I have added quite a few uh, spaces for um, growing various vegetables. I also have a lot of volunteer plants that came up from last year, mostly tomatoes. Now I have way more seedlings than I am going to be able to plant in my garden. So what I plan on doing is um, putting those uh, in little containers and I have a couple of neighbors that I know would love to have their own food to grow. The first thing I need to do is fill these old containers with a little bit of soil for the seedlings that I separate off and I'm going to give away. Next, I need to transplant some of these extra things that I have growing here to make space for the things that I need to plant here. Now these were some yellow pear tomatoes that I had last year. And there are about five seedlings that just volunteered this year which is amazing. I actually kept two for my own garden. But we are going to pass about three of them along to somebody else who can use them. This pot really only has room for about two zucchini or yellow squash plants um, because they get huge and they will crowd each other out. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of those out. Now this plant, I have no idea what it was. I did not plant it here. I'm pretty sure the leaves look like a yellow squash. So I'm gonna go ahead and transplant this. Now the reason why I can't leave this little guy where he was at was because I have lettuce planted in this bucket right here. And when this guy grows, he's gonna grow big and he's gonna shade everything and I can't have that. My lettuce won't like that too much. So he's gotta go somewhere else where he can grow out.
Okay, so I transplanted this little guy, which is the yellow squash, I think. from one of my garden pots right here. Now I'm gonna end up planting the same exact thing, but I am gonna use some of my bigger, healthier plants. Now there is a reason for this and it is right there. We live about 10 feet away from a playground and I can't always protect my plants that are on the other side of this wall right here. I found that the ones that are closer to my front door get less hassled. So <laughs> you do what you got to do, right? Now next, I'll be planting my vining green beans. Typically, green beans don't necessarily need to be started indoors. Um, uh, you typically just plant them directly into the ground, but I have had a terrible time growing green beans here because they sprout up and immediately are devoured by bugs. So I tried this method this year, and we will see if they transplant well. Yeah, I just want some green beans this year, so I'm willing to try anything. Now these are all well past the stage when they would be eaten by little tiny bugs in my garden. So. I have high hopes that they are on a good path to being a great crop this year. Now after you've transplanted your little seedlings, if they start to wilt, don't worry about it too much. This is the plant going through a little bit of shock. Now when that sun goes down tonight, I'm going to give them a really good drink of water and these should perk right up. So guys, thank you for joining me. Spread a little kindness and encourage one another today. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, we hope you find your slice of heaven too.